Believe it or not, each year in the Northwest, hundreds of cats find themselves stranded and helpless atop trees 15 stories tall. What are petrified pet owners to do? Well, you call in the Treetop Rescue Team. Sean and Tom are brothers-in-law and now have a new show on Animal Planet called Treetop Cat Rescue. Both brothers join us now to tell us more. Good morning, guys. Good morning. All right, so I'm so excited to hear about this show. This looks so interesting. My first question is, guys, are there really that many cats being stuck up in the trees that you have, number one, your own organization, but now you're getting your own TV show about it as well? Yeah, there are tons of cats really? that get stuck in trees, and actually more so than we probably even still realize. You know, last year we actually rescued um, over 250 cats from trees. This year we're on pace to do well over 300. And those are the folks that are just calling us. Um, you know, other folks, you know, they sometimes go and rent a big tall ladder from a, from, a, uh, from a hardware store or they might even call like another tree service or, you know, another arborist to get help. And so it, it happens quite a bit. And generally what happens is, you know, the cats go outside and they get spooked by cat, dog, wildlife or whatever. And then they, you know, get spooked up these trees and then they sort of get in a position of comfort and then they need help. Well, and this is a pretty dangerous job that you guys have. These are tall trees. Talk about how dangerous this is, not only for you two, but for these poor cats, too. Yeah, it's yeah. extremely dangerous. Um, climbing the trees is, is just part of the danger. Um, you know, uh, there can be all kinds of dis different situations where, you know, uh, there's a dead branch above us or the tree is just maybe not the best tree to climb. But then the real danger is... Uh, we get up there and we find a cat that uh, maybe doesn't want us to touch it or get close to it. Um, and uh, those cats can, can turn on us and, and, you know, we do the best we can to try to, you know, to, to coax a cat to talk to it and, uh, and, and really calm it down. But, but yeah, we really don't want to uh, get bitten or, or scratched. Um, and, and, and uh, yeah, that's, that's really what, where the, the, the biggest danger is, is, is with the cats. Uh, now, do most of these stories that we're going to be seeing in this new uh, series, do they have good endings? Hopefully. Yeah, they, they, a lot okay. of them have, have great endings. Um, you know, every, every cat rescue is different, and a, a lot of times the outcome is, is different uh, as well. I mean, for the most part, the cats are, are, are very, uh, very receptive to our rescue up in the tree. They'll wait, and they'll, uh, we'll get up to them, and we'll pet them. Um, sometimes they'll climb higher. Sometimes they'll climb and uh, jump into other trees. Sometimes they'll jump all the way to the ground. And uh, we just really have to just try to uh, read every situation uh, that we can and uh, give it our best effort. Now, why did you guys want to be a part of this TV show and have it centered around this? When people are watching at home, what do you hope that they take away when they watch you guys? You know, we really hope that the show um, inspires people to do good for animals and people. Um, it, it's it, the, it, filming the show has been just a really fun and exciting experience, and uh, and uh, you know, the, the the real take home message is that we're 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 here to help people and animals, and. Um, you know, and, and I don't know, I mean, it just feels good, and I hope that that comes across in the show, that uh, it's, it's, a good, it's a good feeling show and a family show. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's just been a great opportunity for us. Now, are you guys just sticking with cats, by the way, or are you eventually helping out other animals that get <laughs> stuck in weird places great, and get into great. trouble? Great yeah, question. Great yeah. question, actually. Uh, yeah, for the most part, we will uh, get called for cats, but occasionally we get called for parrots. As well, you know, uh, obviously parrots have wings, and you know they get out and they fly up into trees, and we'll get called for uh, for those as well. Um, we will get called for the occasional uh, wild animal uh, up in trees. We've gotten called for owls, squirrels, raccoons, crows, bobcat, bobcats uh, up in trees, and uh, so yeah. I mean, we certainly do other animals other than um, cats, but for the most part. It's the little it's kitties. No. Well, we are going to be watching. When can we tune in, by the way, and see you guys take on these daunting tasks? Yeah, it's going to be Saturdays, Saturdays at 9 p.m. On, on Animal Planet, yeah. Yep. All right, Sean and Tom, thank you so much for taking some time to chat with us. You guys be careful out there and okay, up there. Thanks thank a you. lot, Carly. <laughs> all right, we, of course, will put all that info on our website as well, foxforamorningblend.com.